Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian. And you might be wondering how to determine the glycemic index of a certain food. Well, first keep in mind the glycemic index is really just a scale rating on how the blood sugar in your, in your system is affected by certain foods that we eat. Now you might have to do a little research because the glycemic index really is a chart and these foods have already been scientifically tested um, to find that certain number. Now also keep in mind the glycemic index is really just a guideline. The system's not totally proven nor foolproof. Now if you're looking for a certain calculation, you can determine the glycemic load of a certain food. You do need to have the glycemic index number and a little bit of information from the nutrition facts label. This simple calculation is the GI number times the amount of um, grams of carbohydrate there is per food in that food divided by 100. And again, this is glycemic load, not the glycemic index number. But this really is kind of giving you a perception on how much that insulin might rise in your system. Now for an example, a banana has a glycemic index of 52 and 20% by volume carbohydrates. So when plugging into that calculation, the glycemic load of a banana is 10. And then that's just a little bit of an example. Again, glycemic load, not glycemic index. And you will have to look up that chart to find specific foods, as glycemic index is not going to be listed on a package or on the nutrition facts label. Hopefully that'll point you in the right direction. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.